So before we talk about the warm front in the winter, let's just talk about what a warm front is in the first place. A warm front is a transitional mixing zone between two air masses. Now this transitional mixing zone is actually quite a few miles wide. It's not a thin line like you see on weather maps. Whenever you see a warm front on a weather map, it's a sign that the low pressure system is moving in. Another way to describe a warm front is that the cold air is retreating or that the warm air is advancing on top of the cold air. And the typical cloud formation you'll see in a warm front in order is cirrus, cirrostratus, altostratus, nimbostratus, and stratus. Now here's a warm front in the winter time. So everything is the same as before, except now we've introduced the freezing level. You can see the zero degree freezing level drawn out here. And at the top of the freezing level, where it is actually below zero, we're gonna have the precipitation turn into snow. On the left-hand side of the diagram, you'll see that the snow, as it falls into the warmer air, it melts and turns into rain. And on the right-hand side, because it's cold all the way down to the surface of the earth, the snow is just gonna fall all the way down and stay unchanged. Let's look at an example now where an aircraft is approaching from east to west through the winter warm front. And let's look at the precipitation again that it's going to encounter. First, it'll encounter snow as it passes through the cold air mass, then ice pellets, then freezing rain, and then rain. Now, what's not a concern as you fly through this is obviously the rain and the snow, because none of them actually produces any hazards to the aircraft. Where you actually get in trouble is when you fly through the ice pellet, also known as sleet and freezing rain. And then the question might be, what can you do to escape that? So one option you can do is to turn around. And another option is a better option where you can actually climb up. This way you can climb on top and none of the snow will actually stick to the aircraft. The area you always want to avoid is the freezing rain. Another way they can ask the same question is they could say, well, you're flying now from west to east through the winter warm front and you're encountering rain. And then what's the precipitation you can encounter next? And the answer will be freezing rain, ice pellet, and then snow. And then what would be the better option to escape? Well, it depends where you are. If you're in the rain and you're encountering freezing rain, you can turn around or you can climb above where it's warmer. And in most cases, just through this winter warm front, the best option is to just climb up higher. 